In the world of rocket engineering, precision isn't just important, it's everything. When you're building the largest rocket in human history, even the smallest oversight can lead to catastrophic failure. That's the challenge facing SpaceX right now with their revolutionary Starship program. After the partial success of Flight 6, all eyes have been on Booster 14 and its preparation for Flight 7. But recent developments at Starbase have revealed some unexpected hurdles. During a crucial movement operation on December 10th, Booster 14 came to an unplanned halt outside Megabay. Engineers rushed to address issues with its grid fins, the vital control surfaces that guide the massive rocket during its descent. This wasn't just a routine check, it was a sign of the complex challenges that have now pushed back the launch timeline into 2024. The stakes couldn't be higher. With plans for 25 launches next year, SpaceX needs every system working flawlessly. From the sophisticated communications array that failed during Flight 6, to the reinforced launch mount that bears the weight of this engineering marvel. This is the story of how SpaceX is methodically tackling these challenges, ensuring that when Starship next takes to the skies, it's ready for success. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. Inside SpaceX's Starbase facility, a story of unprecedented ambition and engineering prowess is unfolding. The path to Starship Flight 7 has become more than just a technical challenge. It's evolved into a testament to human perseverance and innovation that's pushing the boundaries of what we once thought possible. On that fateful December morning, as Booster 14 made its way toward the production site, no one expected the two-hour delay that would reveal deeper challenges within the massive rocket systems. The morning sun cast long shadows across the launch facility as engineers huddled around the grid fins, their faces reflecting both concern and determination. This wasn't just another routine check. It was a moment that would reshape SpaceX's entire launch timeline. The real drama began during the cryogenic testing phase. Picture the scene. In the dead of night, as most of Texas slept, engineers began pumping 3,400 cubic meters of liquid nitrogen into the booster's tanks. The air itself seemed to crackle with tension as the ultra-cold liquid caused the massive structure to contract and groan. Every creak and our every sensor reading told a story of materials being pushed to their absolute limits. The stainless steel skin of the rocket, gleaming under the floodlights, frosted over as temperatures plummeted to levels that would freeze most metal solid. But it was during the static fire test that the true magnitude of what SpaceX is attempting became clear. The ignition of all 33 Raptor engines created a spectacle that shook the very ground of Starbase. The roar of 7,590 metric tons of thrust echoed across Boca Chica, a sound so powerful it seemed to pierce the soul of everyone present. Local residents reported feeling the vibrations miles away, a reminder that this wasn't just another rocket test. It was humanity pushing against the very limits of what's possible. The grid fin situation revealed an unexpected twist in this unfolding drama. These massive control surfaces, each a marvel of engineering in their own right, showed signs of behavioral anomalies that sent ripples of concern through the engineering team. Late night analysis sessions turned into early morning debates as experts poured over data, knowing that these fins weren't just components. They were the difference between a successful landing and catastrophic failure. Then came the sobering lessons from Flight 6. The failure of the tower's communication system during that crucial mission wasn't just a technical glitch. It was a wake-up call that echoed through every level of SpaceX's operations. Engineers working on the new system found themselves racing against time, knowing that each day of delay pushed back not just Flight 7, but the entire ambitious schedule for 2025. The orbital launch mount tells its own compelling story. After Flight 6, inspection teams made a startling discovery. Wear patterns that no simulation had predicted, forces that no computer model had anticipated. This wasn't just about reinforcing steel and concrete. It was about understanding the raw, untamed power of the world's largest rocket in ways that only real-world experience could reveal. A breakthrough came during the heat shield inspection of Ship 33. Using advanced scanning technology, engineers discovered microscopic patterns in the thermal protection tiles that could revolutionize our understanding of atmospheric re-entry. 
Each of the 18,000 tiles underwent scrutiny so intense that even a hairline imperfection could trigger a complete replacement. The stakes couldn't be higher. At Mach 25, even the smallest flaw could spell disaster. The integration phase brought its own share of heart-stopping moments. As Ship 33 was carefully lifted to mate with Booster 14, years of planning and preparation came down to millimeters of precision. The tension in the control room was palpable as engineers monitored every movement, every alignment, knowing that the slightest miscalculation could set the program back months. The tank farm upgrade revealed another layer of complexity in this massive undertaking. During the replacement of the older tanks, engineers discovered that the extreme temperature cycles had created unique stress patterns in the material, patterns that led to a complete rethinking of cryogenic storage systems. This unexpected finding sparked a wave of innovation that could revolutionize how we store and handle supercooled propellants. As work continued around the clock, the construction of the second launch tower began to reshape the Starbase skyline. This wasn't just another piece of infrastructure. It was SpaceX's bold statement about the future of spaceflight. The tower rose steadily, each new section a physical manifestation of Elon Musk's vision of making humanity a multiplanetary species. The FAA's approval on December 17th came with its own dramatic backdrop. Behind the scenes, SpaceX teams had worked tirelessly, providing thousands of pages of documentation and analysis. The approval wasn't just a regulatory milestone. It was validation of countless hours of innovation, problem solving, and sheer determination. As rumors of a January 11th launch date began circulating through NASA's channels, the atmosphere at Starbase took on a new intensity. Engineers worked with renewed vigor, knowing that each improvement, each modification, brought us closer to a future where regular flights to orbit would become commonplace. The implications of this massive undertaking extend far beyond just technical achievements. Each challenge overcome, each problem solved, represents a step toward making space accessible in ways previous generations could only dream of. The dual tower system under construction isn't just about launching rockets. It's about creating the infrastructure for humanity's next great leap forward. Looking toward 2025's ambitious schedule of 25 launches, the scale of what SpaceX is attempting becomes clear. This isn't just about breaking records or pushing boundaries. It's about fundamentally changing our relationship with space itself. The methodical approach to solving each challenge, the relentless pursuit of perfection, all point to a future where trips to orbit become as routine as international flights are today. The story of Starship Flight 7's preparation is still unfolding. Each day brings new challenges, new discoveries, and new triumphs. As the massive rocket stands ready for its next series of tests, it represents more than just an engineering achievement. It's a beacon of hope for everyone who has ever looked up at the stars and dreamed of reaching them. As we stand on the brink of this new era in spaceflight, SpaceX's journey with Starship Flight 7 reminds us that the path to the stars is paved with persistence, innovation, and unwavering attention to detail. The challenges faced at Starbase, from the complex grid fin adjustments to the complete overhaul of launch systems, aren't setbacks. They're stepping stones toward making space travel as routine as air travel. With the FAA's approval secured and preparations continuing around the clock, SpaceX isn't just building a rocket, they're building humanity's bridge to the stars. The ambitious goal of 25 launches in 2025 isn't just a number. It's a bold statement about our future among the stars. Every delay, every modification, every improvement brings us one step closer to making life multiplanetary. As we track these historic developments at Starbase, one thing becomes clear. We're witnessing the birth of a new chapter in human spaceflight. Every test, every challenge overcome, writes another line in this incredible story. To stay updated on all the latest developments with Starship, SpaceX, and everything Elon Musk is doing to revolutionize space travel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our Elon Musk 24-hour community. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative and share your thoughts about Starship's future in the comments below. Your support helps us continue bringing you the most detailed and accurate coverage of humanity's journey to the stars.
Thank you for watching Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring space exploration down to Earth. For 20 years, SpaceX has ruled the space industry like an unshakable giant. From revolutionary rockets to groundbreaking missions, Elon Musk's company has left competitors scrambling to catch up. But in the foothills of Colorado, a bold challenger is rising, one that might just change the game entirely. Meet Sierra Space and their revolutionary dream chaser, a sleek space plane that's about to take flight. While SpaceX's rockets thunder back to Earth in dramatic vertical landings, the Dream Chaser does something entirely different. It glides onto ordinary runways like a regular aircraft. This isn't just another spacecraft. It's a glimpse into a future where space travel could be as routine as catching a flight. The timing couldn't be more critical. As SpaceX pushes forward with its massive Starship program, Sierra Space is preparing for its first Dream Chaser launch in 2025. With NASA contracts already secured and the capability to carry both cargo and crew, this newcomer isn't just dreaming. They're building a serious challenge to SpaceX's dominance. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. The story of space innovation isn't just about rockets and technology. It's about dreams, determination, and daring to challenge giants. In the quiet foothills of Colorado, Sierra Space's engineers have spent countless sleepless nights perfecting what could be the most elegant spacecraft ever built. The Dream Chaser isn't merely a space plane, it's the culmination of decades of aerospace innovation refined into something truly revolutionary. Picture this, while other spacecraft slam into the ocean or depend on massive rocket engines to land, Dream Chaser soars through the atmosphere with the grace of an eagle its sleek aerodynamic design, inspired by NASA's space shuttle but refined through years of wind tunnel testing and computational analysis, allows it to glide effortlessly onto any commercial runway in the world. The engineering team faced countless setbacks during development. Early prototypes struggled with stability issues, and critics claimed the design was too complex to succeed. But persistence paid off. The breakthrough came with the thermal protection system. Traditional spacecraft, including the space shuttle, required tens of thousands of individual tiles to survive the inferno of atmospheric re-entry. Each tile had to be inspected and maintained individually, a nightmare for ground crews and a major factor in launch delays. Sierra Space's engineers took a radical approach. Instead of following the old playbook, they developed an entirely new type of thermal protection system using just 2,000 tiles. This wasn't just an incremental improvement. It was a complete paradigm shift in spacecraft design. But the real magic of Dream Chaser lies in its versatility. The cargo version, set for its first flight in 2025, can carry up to 12,000 pounds of supplies to the International Space Station. That's enough to support multiple scientific experiments, deliver crucial supplies, and transport essential equipment. The innovative Shooting Star module adds another 10,000 pounds of cargo capacity. And here's where things get interesting. Unlike traditional cargo modules that burn up on re-entry, Shooting Star can be modified for extended operations in space. Sierra Space Engineers are already working on variants that could serve as mini space stations or fuel depots. The crew version of Dream Chaser represents an even more ambitious leap forward. Designed to carry seven astronauts in spacecraft that feels more like a private jet than a cramped capsule, it features large windows offering panoramic views of Earth and space. The interior layout prioritizes both comfort and functionality, a stark contrast to the utilitarian designs of traditional spacecraft. Every detail, from the placement of control panels to the design of the seats, has been optimized through countless hours of astronaut feedback and simulation testing. This attention to detail extends to emergency scenarios. While other spacecraft depend on complex launch abort systems with multiple stages and separation events, Dream Chaser's lifting body design allows it to safely glide away from a failing rocket at virtually any point during launch. The spacecraft can then navigate to the nearest suitable runway, potentially saving both crew and valuable cargo. This capability was demonstrated in a series of dramatic drop tests that left even skeptical observers impressed. 
The competition between Sierra Space and SpaceX isn't just about technology. It's about two radically different visions of humanity's future in space. SpaceX, under Elon Musk's leadership, has pursued a path of brute force and raw power. Their launch cadence tells an incredible story. From 31 launches in 2021 to a staggering 128 launches,